Hey folks, today I'm reviewing the brand new iPhone XS, coming up next on Tech Talk America. Hey folks, so the brand new iPhones are out and this is the one that I decided to go with, the brand new iPhone XS. Now I decided to go with this one uh, really primarily because my old iPhone, which was the iPhone 8 Plus, just had started to feel ridiculously large in my pocket. I'm not a giant person, okay? I'm five foot seven. So having that giant phone in my pocket, I just kind of felt a little bit more ridiculous than I should when walking down the street. Okay, first impression, and I realize this is not exclusive to this phone, but one of the things you just have to give to Apple is just how easy they've made it now to transfer your data from your old iPhone over to your new one. Check this out. So literally just tap a couple of buttons and then hold your old iPhone next to your new iPhone. It detects it and with one button transfers all your data. Another thing you'll be prompted to set up when you first get your new iPhone is to set up Face ID. And in the new iPhone, your face is your password. So all you have to do is uh, hit the little get started button and then you're just gonna basically look around. It's gonna tell you to look left, look right, first remove hat, fix hair. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, look up, look down, left, right. And when you're done, you'll be all set and good to go. Ultimately, I had to do this twice. Uh, just make sure when you do this that the area is well lit. I had a light kind of pointing into the lens, so ultimately I had to do it twice. Now, for those of you out there who enjoy taking photos with your phone, you are absolutely going to love this phone. Whether you're taking selfies or taking photos using the, uh, the better lens, the back-facing lens. So when you're taking a selfie, there are two lenses which allows you to use the portrait mode when taking a selfie, which is, I have to say, really cool. It's not quite as crystal clear as using, of course, the back lenses, which are 12 megapixel versus seven on the front, but they still look really good. One of the great features that you'll find here now with the new iPhones is that when you take a photo in portrait mode, whether you're using the front facing or the back facing cameras, is you can adjust the f-stop afterwards. So you can change the amount of blur between your foreground subject and your background. You can also, of course, in post-production, change the lighting. So for example, you can go from natural to studio even well after you've taken your photo. All right, so there's a lot of tech people out there who are using all sorts of different robots to show you fancy shots of the iPhone. Here's what I'm gonna do instead. Uh, I happen to live on the Cape Cod National Seashore, and I know that the feature that a lot of you care about is the camera. So what I wanna do is just show you some footage shot entirely on the iPhone, not touched up in any way. So without any further ado, here's some footage shot on my iPhone XS. Another feature that users are sure to find very entertaining is Memoji. This is the feature where you can turn yourself into an animated character. That is for those of us who aren't already kind of overly animated. So uh, I'm gonna walk you through how to set that up. Let's take a look. The first thing you're gonna need to do is open up the Messages app. Uh, just go to any message, doesn't really matter while we're first setting this up. And then you can tap on the Animoji icon. And as you'll see here, we have all of these different characters that you can become. Now I'm gonna show you how to set up your own in just a moment, but for a second, let's have a little bit of fun. So what you are viewing right now is me uh, in a separate take, just kind of being crazy, basically. Uh, as you'll see here, the uh, characters, even when you stick your tongue out, uh, there is now officially a, something called tongue support. 
Interesting terminology coming out of Apple these days. You can be an opera singing piece of poop. You can be a piglet. I think I was doing a gangster voice at that point. I was doing some very interesting uh, imitations that would would have inevitably gotten me into a lot of trouble, probably. You can be a little bunny rabbit. Again, there that with that tongue support. And just when you want to deliver a funny message to someone, I you know, this, I have to say, is a very entertaining way to do it. I also think that it's inevitable that at some point in time, some sort of sitcom on television is going to have a character deliver a horrible, horrible piece of information via an emoji. Spooky ghost. That's a fun one. Tyrannosaurus Rex. The kids, I think, are going to really like that one. Really, with that tongue support. <laughs> if only you could have seen me recording this video originally. Some of these characters are new. Some of them have been around since the iPhone 10 came out. All right, let's go over how to create a brand new one that looks like sort of you. We're going to create a new Memoji. So we start off here with creating your skin color. And you can choose whatever skin color you want. It doesn't have to be your real one. Uh, as you can see here, we have a whole different palette of different colors to choose from. And as you tap into each of those, you can kind of change the different tone or color shading. So you can make it lighter or darker. Go whatever color you want. Go crazy, go silly, go you, whatever that is. Freckles, uh, you can see there's an option for that down there below. For now, I'm just going to create one that looks a little bit more like me. Now, as we move over to hairstyles, you'll see at the top of the list, we have the hairstyles that are typically more feminine and towards the bottom of the list, the ones that are typically more masculine. We now move on to head shape. So we can either have a character that is older, more middle aged, or a child. You can see a little bit of what baby David would look like. Very scary time of life. Okay, let's go with the one right in the middle. From there, you can choose your chin. This can also be very good motivation to go on a diet. Go vegetarian, that's what I did one year ago. Very good decision. Next, we swipe over to choosing your eye color and shape. Yes, eye color, that comment that I get in every single video. Thank you, yes, they're real. When you're done with that, we swipe over once again to choosing your brows. Again, color and shape. You can see here some of the different selections. Next, we move over to nose and lips. So you can choose different uh, shaped nose. Also, great confidence booster at this point. Uh, choose the color and shading of your lips. We have all sorts of different colors to choose from. Once again, you tap into a color, and there's all sorts of different options that you can swipe into uh, down below. So have fun choosing that, and make your lips as luscious as you want. Go big, go whatever. Hey, it's cheaper than plastic surgery, right? We swipe over again to ears. Yep, I got those. Definitely got those. So we choose the big ones for me. Uh, if you want to add earrings, we have all sorts of different uh, options here, different danglies. And check this out. If you uh, add one to them and then shake your head, see how they kind of, they, they, they do that, that shaky thing. They dangle. Ah, there we go. I'm having fun recording this video. Can you tell? What happened there? Ooh, that was weird. All right. No, no earrings for me today. We move over to facial hair. Yes, we do have that. So you can choose the uh, sideburns if you have them. Again, color, shape, whole bunch of different options here. Swipe through and see what you look like if you just let it all go. Okay, I think we may have found a winner here. Looks good. All right, just see the other options here real quick. You got your handlebar mustache options, everything you want there. Whole bunch of different facial hair accessory options. You can also change the shading. So let's get this just maybe a little bit lighter on me. Looks good. Moving over to eyewear. So if your character, if you want, you can wear glasses. You can choose the different colors of the frames, lenses. Check that out. That's me. That's my detective look. Convincing? Probably not. Oh well, we tried. Next, we swipe over to headwear. So if you want to add a hat, something like that, uh, whatever different style you want, there's all sorts of different options here. And as with all the others, you can change the colors of the headgear, whatever you want. I think it would be really cool in the future if Apple could add a, a, like a way to add your logo or something like that to maybe like one of the baseball caps, something like that. That would be good. Somehow I don't think they have a Cape Cod hat. That's typically what I tend to sport these days. All right, so you got all sorts of different colors you can swipe through. 
looks good. Okay, for now, I think we're gonna go without. So that's basically it to creating your Memoji. So then when you would go in in the future to message someone, uh, when you tap on the Animoji uh, icon, one of the options will be you. And so you just talk, say whatever you want. It's your voice, but it's your animated character that they will see. Pretty cool, huh? So my final thoughts on the iPhone XS. If you already have the original iPhone X, I'd say you can probably hold off for now. But for those of you out there who have an older iPhone, if the feature that you really care about more than anything is the camera, this is absolutely worth the upgrade. Now, if you didn't know, there's usually different ways that you can upgrade. I myself didn't actually buy this phone. I decided to join the iPhone upgrade plan, which means in addition to my monthly payment for my cell phone use, I also pay basically, it's essentially a lease for your phone. So then every year you get a new iPhone, for me, that's just turned out to be the best method, and I'm sure it is probably for some of you out there as well. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoy this video, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It's the easiest way to find out whenever I come out with new content. Thanks for watching, everyone. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. I'll see you next time.